Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I did get a request to do a slightly more wearable look. So I'm going to do a nice summary wearable look. I think I'm going to go for kind of pretty much all creams and liquids as well. So I think it's a really pretty finish to the skin with it being summer. I mean, I've got oily skin, but I still really enjoy those kind of products anyway. Um, and yeah, so I might do like a little bit of setting right in the T-zone area. And obviously my brows will be powder, but apart from that, everything else will be liquid and cream. Um, and yeah, so I really hope you enjoy, and please keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off my Doctor Who Scrub Bronzing Tint, just to give my skin a nice kind of warmth to it. And I'm going to apply it with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. It's going to look slightly crazy to begin with, but it does kind of really blend out well. Okay, I'm then going to go in with the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 30. Now, so I'm going to take a pump into my hands, warm it up, and go ahead and apply to the skin. Now, you may notice I'm in a slightly different location today. So, my sister is currently with her husband on a business trip. Um... They've actually gone up to Scotland, so my sister works for the same company that I've now started working for. Um, and it was kind of a, not quite a last minute trip, but it kind of was. And she wanted someone to kind of house sit, puppy sit, and cat sit. So I kind of offered, because it meant I'm closer to work as well, which makes life so much easier. Um, and I thought I'd take this opportunity where it's kind of just me. Um, I've got a few days to really film a whole lot of videos because since starting the new job I haven't had as much time to film anymore because like I said I leave my house about 7 o'clock in the morning and sometimes I can get back at 7 in the evening and then I'm kind of, you know, by the time I've showered, eaten, it's pretty much bedtime so um, I've kind of really missed filming lots of videos because obviously, especially during furlough, I was able to film so much and even when I was working at the cafe beforehand I had slightly more time to kind of do that sort of stuff like in the morning when I got home from work so I'm just taking the opportunity to kind of film a whole load of videos I've kind of got rid of so I'm going to take the Hint Beauty Concealer now and just pop a little bit where I need it I don't think I want too much I don't want to go heavy on the skin so I'm going to keep it relatively light I'm then going to go in with the Hint Concealer but in deep this time just to give a slight warm, more of a warmth to the skin. You know, it's kind of summertime now. I wanted to be, look a little bit more bronzed than maybe I usually would. So I'm just patting that in with the same brush I used before. So the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Just to give an extra bronze. I'm not going too heavy with this still. But it's just quite nice. It gives some definition around the face as well. Moving on to highlight, I feel like it's a while since I've actually used this product and it's such a lovely product. So it's the My Chia Highlight of the Day in the Golden Hour. So I'm just going to pump some onto the back of my hand. I'm going to use the exact same brush. I think I mentioned before, I like using the same brush, kind of, especially if it's cream products. Or if I'm going in with like a cream blush over the top of foundation. I just find everything melts together much nicer because it's got excess product in from whatever you used before and that way it kind of blends much nicer together and even though I'm using cream on cream I still do the patting motion just because you know there's still a chance for everything to move about if you're not careful and I just think it kind of really pushes it into the skin and instead of it just sitting on top so I like this kind of patting motion which is a nice pretty glow to the skin I mean the Ilia Skin Tint does give you kind of a natural dewy finish anyway. But, I mean, there's nothing wrong with just a little bit of an extra glow. Okay, so onto Cream Blusher, and this is probably no surprise. It's the Ritual de Fee Inner Cream, Inner Cream Pigment in Delirium.
Okay, so like I said, I'm just gonna do a tiny bit of setting with the 100% Pure Bamboo Powder, just because I am oily and I just, I need something. So I'm just gonna pinpoint a little bit under the eyes, but really focus it very close up to the eye and bring it down ever so slightly onto this cheek area here. But nothing too heavy, I still kinda want that shine to come through. Do the same. But I do get a little bit of creasing if I don't set completely. I used to be able to get away with it if I wanted to not setting under the eyes, but I've kind of realized as time goes on, I just need a little bit of powder under there. Then I'm gonna focus the powder on my forehead, but right in the center of it here, just to get away some of that shine. But obviously the rest of my skin is still lovely and glowy. Finally, just right in the center of the chin. So the only other powder I'm going to use on my face is for eyebrows because I prefer an eyebrow powder to fill my brows. The Auburn from ABH. Okay, so moving on to eyes. So what I'm actually going to do first is go back with the deep concealer from Hint Beauty on a fluffy brush. This is my Hansen Pure E40 brush. Pick a little bit up, and I'm going to run this just back and forth into the crease. All over the lid and kind of buff around. Now I'm going to go ahead and just wing it out so it kind of blends into my temples. I'll use my finger just to kind of further blend it out because obviously it's a cream product so it does work quite nicely with the finger. Okay, then all I'm going to do is layer up my upper lashes with 100% Pure, sorry no, the Lily Lolo Big Lash Mascara. Oh, and don't forget to leave your questions and any assumptions down below for the video. I'm going to be doing very, very shortly. Okay, then all I'm going to do is take the Benacost Brown Lip Liner. I'm not going to be particularly precise with it, I just want to wash the colour over the lips. Especially where I've accidentally gone over with the Ilia Skin Tint. And then just to finish off, I'm going to take my, if I can find where I put it, I'm the Kosas Wet Lip Oil in Jellyfish, just the clear one. So that is this makeup look complete. Something relatively simple, very wearable for the everyday. Um, nice and slightly summery. And if you're someone who's into all creams, this is great. I did use a little bit of powder, but I have oily skin. So just right in those T-zone pinpoints is just where I add powder and then um, the rest I like to keep glowy. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave any requests for future videos down below, questions, assumptions. Um, I've got a few videos lined up that I think it's gonna be quite fun for you to watch, so I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.